it would seem that lefty teachers are getting into the minds of impressionable kids yet again, this time with radical gender theory. A class of Year 2 students at a Central Coast primary school in New South Wales were given gender lessons where they were told gender is, quote, the way you feel on the inside. Christopher Harris had a great exclusive in the Daily Telegraph today in which he revealed that the deputy principal of Umina Beach Public School wrote to parents last month to say that these gender lessons were needed because of, quote, child protection and were supported by the Anti-Discrimination Act. The letter said, quote, as part of our child protection unit, year two classes will participate in a lesson about gender diversity. Gender refers to the way you feel on the inside. It might be expressed by how you dress or how you behave, and for some people these things may change over time. The lesson is supported by the Anti-Discrimination Act to ensure that school is an inclusive place for all students. Now, this was presented to parents as an opt-out lesson, not an opt-in one. The default was that they should attend. Now, we're not talking about teenagers here who may well be going through a time of their lives where they struggle with their identity or whatever. We're talking about seven-year-old children. Now, when I was a young boy, it wasn't all that long ago, to be perfectly honest, I loved the movie Mrs Doubtfire. May the uh, genius of Robin Williams live on forever. But I loved the movie so much that I liked dressing up as Mrs Doubtfire. I had a grey wig and a big pair of granny glasses I'd put on and I'd try to do my best female voice. Now, I was effectively cross-dressing, but it had nothing to do with my gender or my identity. I was a kid being a kid, imitating a character I liked. The idea of gender or sex didn't even come into my head. I was just dressing up and having fun. But a wokester might look at that and say, oh, no, Caleb needs to be looked after. He's expressing his gender fluidity. But kids don't need to have their perceptions of the world complicated and warped by this kind of thing. Kids are perfectly capable of learning how to deal with other kids and are often the most loving and accepting people in the world because they haven't been infected by prejudice. Now, this, of course, isn't the first time woke politics has crept into our schools. Year five and six students at Linfield Learning Village on Sydney's North Shore made posters earlier this year saying, quote, white lives matter too much, stop killer cops, and they called police officers pigs. These protesters, or these posters, sorry, were made in February and hung from ceilings in classrooms for months before anyone did anything about it. Albion Park High School in New South Wales held an assembly last year where students were encouraged to take a knee in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, it's no business of a school principal to encourage students to do that. The aftercare centre at North Newtown Public School in Sydney, of course it was Newtown, last year displayed scrawled anti-Donald Trump messages from kids as young as five years old. Now, these kids were asked who they would vote for in the US election and why. Now, why would you even ask a young child a question like that in a school setting? I mean, some of these messages declared, I hate Trump, he sucks, and I'd vote for Joe Biden because Donald Trump sucks. And where would five-year-olds be getting this stuff from? If you've seen some of the screeds they had on display, these kids should have been learning how to spell, not getting involved in politics on the other side of the world. Another example, a draft of the new national curriculum presented Anzac Day as a quote-unquote contested idea. I mean, who, apart from absolute lunatics, contests Anzac Day? It's not a celebration of death, it's a sombre reminder of the cost of war that is then followed by celebration in their honour. I mean, honestly, the stuff some people are trying to fill kids' heads with is outrageous. My old school, nearly a decade ago, changed its end-of-year celebration from Christmas in the courtyard to celebration in the courtyard to supposedly be more sensitive to non-Christians. But have you ever actually met someone of another faith who was offended by Christmas? And all this, meanwhile, as our academic chops keep falling through the floor. The 2019 Program for International Student Assessment 
which is a survey of more than half a million students around the world, found that Australian students are three and a half years behind the Chinese in maths. We rank just above the OECD average. Australian kids are a year behind Singaporean students in reading. Our reading, science and math scores are all in long-term decline. Now, dare I suggest it is because schools are focusing too much on woke nonsense and not enough on the basics of education.